Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick screencast on um, using your digital SLR camera as a webcam uh, during a Google Plus Hangout. Uh, basically, you can use it to overwrite your your standard webcam. Um, it's pretty straightforward, so I'll go through the procedure now. Uh, basically, you need two bits of software for this. You're going to need CamTwist, which is a free download off the internet. I'll put that uh, that link in in the post. And basically, what that does it it screen captures your screen, and you're able to broadcast over the internet. Um, it's basically a camera or a screencast, which the internet thinks is a camera. Um, second bit of software you're going to need is some sort of uh, tethered software that you can, you know, your camera can tether to your, your computer. Uh, it's basically got to, you've got to get a picture of your camera on the computer, a live picture. So for me, I use EOS Utility. Um, I'm using a 5D Mark II, and for this example, I've got the 50mm 1.8 attached to the camera. Uh, so first things first, I might just bring up the camera here. So you want to get into live view shoot, which brings me up now on screen. Um, basically, you've got all the controls you want. If you know, you can increase, decrease your ISO. Uh, if it's you know a bit bright, we can darken that darken that up, lighten that up. Uh, so you basically got a live view of what the camera's seeing. So that's what we're going to capture with Cam Twist, this image here. So in Cam Twist, we want to go to desktop and we want to select that. Desktop selected in the effects in use. Now for the screen settings, we want to capture this screen, but we don't want full screen. We want a resizable selection which we want to select this area here. So for that, we'll get this selection up, drag that across to the area we want to capture. Okay, and we're done selecting. So basically now, Cam Twist has selected this image, and this is what's going to broadcast once we start a Google Plus Hangout. So I'll jump into Safari. Um, I'll start a Hangout. Now you may have to resize a few windows. I'm I'm running one screen here. If you're on two two monitors, it's obviously a lot a lot easier. You've got a lot more a lot more room than what than what I do. Okay, so just resizing there. So I'll just switch back over to the inside. Okay. Okay, so here I am. That's my webcam off my MacBook Pro. Uh, you can see it's fairly standard image. Um, you can compare the two images there. I mean, the clarity here is much better than what we've got over here. Plus, we don't have any control of the inbuilt camera. So to bring this picture up into the Hangout, you want to go to your settings. Under camera, it's now going to bring up Cam Twist as an option. And there I am. There's a, there's a live preview there. Uh, you can see there's a bit of head cropping. You might want to go back into Cam Stage uh, Cam Twist and just do a bit of tweaking with your image. Just try and get yourself centered. You know, have a bit of a play. Okay. We'll just select that as our option. That's fine. Okay, so we'll save that out and we'll give it a try. So save that. So what I'll do, I'll just start a hangout uh, with myself, which isn't going to be too interesting. But just so we get the idea of what's going on here, just so you can see how you can tweak a few settings. 
Uh, one other thing I forgot to mention too, you've got different uh, ways of focusing within uh, the EOS utility. So, you know, you can go ahead and try a few of these different options here. I mean, obviously uh, the best way would have would have it to, the best way would be to have the camera already set pre-focused. Um, let's try face detection live mode. Let's see if that brings something up. And there you go, that's auto focusing nicely. Here I am in the Hangout. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys found this uh, helpful and uh, I'm sure we're going to have a heap of people using their digital SLR for their Hangouts from now on. Catch up on Google+.